you know, the more effort that I put in in my life, uh, whether it's exercise or particularly like running and yoga and martial arts and and doing stand up and doing podcast, the more I do those things, the more because I, I'm creating my own struggle. And I feel like there's a lot of benefit in creating your own struggle rather than like if you see a lot of people that run into like a lot of struggle with life, like just life in general in terms of like relationships and friendships and fallings out. A lot of that seems to me that people need a certain amount of conflict and a certain amount of struggle. And they create that struggle if they don't get it in some sort of a, a organic form. You know, if you're if you're not at war with the neighboring tribe or you're not worried about predators, you create this struggle with your girlfriend or with your buddies right. or, you know, with the people at work, your coworkers. The more I create my own struggle, the more I orchestrate it through training, through, through exercise and just rigorous physical struggle where you're knocking on the door of whether or not your body is going to make it through this. The more you do that, the more I feel like it minimizes those other struggles in life. I like it that way better. Mm -hmm. I don't need any f f real horse in my life. Yeah. I like to make my own horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it seems Flies. like, um, but it really does seem like doing that minimizes other things. Because like if you're running hills, right? If I'm running hills and doing these sprints four or 500 yards up this hill, it's so fucking hard to do that that's all I can think of. Mm -hmm. And my body's heaving, my heart's pounding, and I'm just push, 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 and all I'm thinking about is my breath. Things get minimized. Everything else is sort of like become, like that's a real struggle. Like that's a almost death. Like your heart is going 180 beats a minute, you're pouring sweat. That's, that's like a design, I'm doing it on purpose. And I'm doing it to, to squeeze out all the excess energy and angst that my body might be putting off that sort of confuses you about the real significance of interpersonal conflict and, and, and relationship conflict and work conflict. So much of it is like exaggerated by your own body's desire for, for some sort of action, something, something, something going on. So I've found that the more I do that myself, the less I have that in my everyday life. Mm -hmm. And then it also, I have to do all the shit I'm supposed to do. I have to do all the work, including family stuff. Like I spend a lot of time with my family. I orchestrate it. I go to, I go to the comedy store after the kids go to bed. Mm -hmm. I get up with them in the morning. I help them get ready for school. I either take them to school, or I go with them when my wife takes them to school. I do podcasts during the day while they're at school, and then afterwards I hang out with them. I see them. I like I. That's if I don't do that, I feel like a shitty dad. Mm -hmm. And you can curate those thoughts, and you can cultivate them. You could you could. There's a thing that you can do where you can get used to action, like like Jocko Willink is a perfect example. You know, he has that thing on his. If you go to his Instagram page, almost every other photo is a watch. And it's a watch that says 4.30 in the morning because that's when he gets up and he works out and he earns the sunset. And he does that. He's so disciplined. And he's got this saying that's a great saying, discipline equals freedom. And it's true because he's able to force himself to do that every single time. There's no excuses. There's no breaks. There's no days off. It doesn't happen. So because of that, you're like, you're not scared. You know that you can keep doing it. You know that you can continue to perform. There's a lot of people that are scared of their ability to do something that's difficult. They're scared of whether or not they, like you see someone who's doing something that's really tough to do and you go, man, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could force myself to, to be disciplined. I don't know if I could force myself to take that kind of action. Well, if you do force yourself to take that kind of action, you don't have that question anymore. Mm -hmm. That question, I don't know if I can do it. Well, you're doing it. So you obviously can do it. Can you do it tomorrow? We well, did it today. Why can't you do it tomorrow? Just do it.